You can see the old dial cover on the Airline 62316's had better days. I was able to pop it out here, held in place with some very small pop rivets at the uh, 10, 2, 4, and 8 positions. And you can see I've got a piece of scrap wood here. I'm going to try to create a former. Go cut this out in this area. Looks like I need about 5 millimeters of thickness. And basically to trace this out, you can see the plastic dial cover actually rest at this point. So I can just flip this over, which I've already done, as you can see, and uh, created the uh, dimensions here for the cutout. Then we'll try to uh, press in a new plastic uh, dial cover, use a little heat, see if we can make something uh, work here. If not, we'll come back and uh, take a different approach. You guys can see I've got the form factor cut out now using my coping saw. Did the best I could. I went back with some sandpaper, cleaned up the edges, and also created a little bit of a bevel as well to somewhat mirror the original design. You can see I've got the uh, protective pieces off of the uh, PETG plastic sheets that I'll be using, 0 0.02 inches in thickness. Let me get the heat gun out. We'll try to form the first uh, reproduction dial cover. Just placing the PETG over the uh, center form. Then I'll apply some heat. and just applying some pressure. If you're gonna use this method, be sure you just keep the uh, heat gun moving. Okay, let me flip this around now. See if I can take care of this uh, V section I got where I made the cut. Let this cool for a moment. We'll look at Try to get this in a favorable angle so you guys can see it. Uh, it turned out pretty well. Should have been just a little deeper. I'm about four millimeters. My original measurement was about uh, five. I think using a, a little bit thicker form factor because it's hard to uh, get the material flat would have given me the uh, one more millimeter. But uh, I think it's close enough. Let me uh, trim this thing out and just see if it fits. And we'll go from there. And you can see I've got my little cordless heat gun here doing some fine tuning. So I think that turned out fairly well. Definitely uh, a lot clearer than the old yellowed plastic to the right. And of course, we don't have that big uh, crack. Not perfect. Another method and procedure for doing this, and I think you probably can get better results. Check out Ron's Vintage Electronics. I'll put a, a pop-up right top corner of the screen here for a recent video that he did. And in the video description for um, reproducing these uh, old vintage dial covers. You guys uh, take care and stay well.